Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Squadron. We had a challenge uh, raised to us on the Facebook community group about how could we make uh, SVG icons within Elemental take on the global color. Now, I don't think we have completely solved the problem, but we have found a workaround and I hope you're gonna find this really useful. Very first thing I wanna mention though about SVG icons is that if you're trying to import a custom icon that you have found on the web or you've created with Adobe Illustrator or any other bit of software, in Elementor, within your settings, you must make sure that the unfiltered file uploads is enabled. If this is not enabled, you won't be able to upload SVGs into your media library. So I'm just gonna go over to our media library, okay, and I'm gonna click Add New, select files and I'm going to add in this SVG file here. Now at the moment, can you see it's not letting me add it? Don't worry about this, okay? Because it is a little bit misleading and you might be thinking, well, you've just said enable it, but you're not allowing us to do it. Don't worry about that. What we do is we're going to go over to our page. We're then going to add in a icon like so. And I'm now going to go to upload SVG. And I'm now going to go to Upload File, Select Files, and now I can add it. So that file is now inserted, and there we is. We have a robot. But I want to just show you what we can do with this. We can go to Style, and we can restyle it. Wonderful. Now, what happens if I want to change the color of this? So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to pick one of our global colors. It's not changing at all. Uh, okay, so I go, fine, I won't do that then. Instead, I'll pick one of my other colors, just, you know, bespokely, however I want. Again. The color is not changing, it's just staying as black. And that's one of the limitations with SVG. I'm not gonna go into the fills and why it works like that, but basically it is a problem. You can't use the global colors. Well, we can't use any colors. So unless we do it in Adobe, which, or wherever we do it, it's gonna be a problem later on, right? Now there is a workaround this, okay? And it is a bit of a weird workaround, but just go with me on this, okay? I'm gonna to go to the content for this and I'm gonna set the style for this to be um, 100 pixels, just so we can see it on the screen, okay? No, let's not do that, let's do 200. There we go, we've got 200, okay, let's update that. What I'm then gonna do is make a, no, I'm not gonna make a copy of this, I'm gonna insert it below. Now what you do is you go back over to your download, okay? You go back over to your SVG file and I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna open it with text edit. You could open it with notes, notepad, whatever you use on your PC or your Mac. I'm gonna open it with text edit and what I get is this massive amount of code. Each one of these paths that you see here controls a little bit of that robot. The ears, the arms, the head, the eyes, the belt, heads, shoulders, knees and toes, you get it, okay? I'm just going to copy this code. Just copy the entirety of the code, okay? Then I'm gonna, in a new section, I'm going to add in a HTML element or widget. Just drop that in there. Now in, inside the HTML code, I'm just gonna paste what we had from the text edit, that code. Now at the moment, it looks super huge, okay? What I would say you do though is right at the top where it says doctype SGBG public, you don't need to have that in. I just kind of get rid of it, I'm not bothered. The second thing I'm gonna do is just center it. Because we've added in HTML, we have lost a lot of this styling um, uh, controls that you would have within Elemental Editor, but don't worry about that. I'm just gonna type uh, center, like so, pick up this bit of code here, the bit at the end, just do that. It's now moved to the center, but just make sure at the bottom of the code you put it back in again, you know, with the forward slash center so it's all broke off, right? Okay, cool. So now we've got our robot just there but he's way too big. If we go back to the code here, it already says the width and the height. So I'm now gonna change the width to be 200. We now have tons of space above and below. So I'm gonna change the height to also be about 200. 200, there we go. That's, that's about right now, yeah? They're looking pretty equal. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this up and drop it to sit there at the side. Now. I go back into my HTML, and over here, we have the fill. Now, I'm just gonna put in a bit of random code. I'm gonna FFA 900, there we go. So what I now have done is manually, I have changed the color of that SVG. I am not completing the challenge set, which was get it to set to the global color. I am not a super coder. SQL, algorithms, 
modeling, data sampling, data mining. Yeah, I can do that to the nth degree. CSS, HTML coding, I'm not, I'm not brilliant at it. You know, I learn from other people. I learn from you guys out there as well. But so if someone knows how to change that fill bit here to pick up, pick up the global color, tell me, let's do it. But for now, I just type it in and there we go. So we've now got the standard SVG, which is always gonna be black. And now we've got one where we can now define the color of the SVG. Slight problem though is, let me just update this. If I put this into now mobile view, okay, I might say, right, I want this to actually be 75 in size. But I did find that over here, using the at media, you know, comparable way of doing it with HTML. I struggled a bit with that. Again, I'm not a super coder. I just learn and experiment with things. So what I would say you do is that is if you suddenly want it to be responsive for the mobile, the simplest way, and I know there's going to be people out there saying, what, you're cheating. No, I'm not cheating. I'm just going to, you know, duplicate it. I'm going to go to this top one. I'm going to say, um, don't show that on the mobile. And the bottom one, uh, don't show on the desktop or the tablet and then we're going to go to the content again and over here I'm just going to say 75 and 75 like so. So let's just now view it. So we have obviously you know mess around with your columns and your layout and how you want. On the mobile we got that, on the desktop we get the big one and that is in a crude crude way a pretty Simple way of taking the SVG, open it in Notepad or Text Edit, get the code, bung it in, and then right at the top, change your color and your width and your height. And just to share with you again, all of these individual paths, watch the robot when I do this. Oh look, a bit of his foot's disappeared. In fact, let's just take away a whole chunk. So each one of these is kind of like, modifies a bit of the code, but you don't really need to mess around with any of that unless you want to. So I know I haven't, met the challenge completely with the global colors, but this is how, very, very simply, okay, without any extra plugin and any bespoke CSS, even though it is a bit of HTML, of how you can change the color of your SVG win within, inside Elemental. I hope that helps you. Like, subscribe, see you soon.